Check out their booth over there for a chance to win tickets to the show February 1st. Tickets to Valor February 1st. Professional weight class of a catch weight of 130. Out of the red corner, let's welcome to the cage Hailstorm Haley Turner. Female professional, back to the mixed martial arts action. Catch weight here at 130 pounds between Hailstorm Haley Turner and Christina Ricker. Hailstorm sporting a two-in-one record, also fighting out of that Scorpion fighting system from Brighton, Michigan. Yeah, Haley Hailstorm, two-in-one, 5'10", with a 71-inch reach, with a Muay Thai fight style like we just saw. Head coach is James Gray. She's undefeated as an amateur, and guess this, she has all finishes as an amateur. Her only pro loss is coming to Jessica Borg in our, in our main event tonight that she lost to her last year. She right now is ranked number six in Michigan and ranked in the top 1.5 percentile in the United States pound for pound and 44th in the Midwest. Scorpion fighting system, a tough camp out of Brighton, uh, Brighton Michigan. We have already seen Tabitha Batgirl Watkins secure a win over Cameron Zamora earlier tonight in our atom weight bout between our two female professional fighters. Always good to have a successful and strong stable of fighters to sharpen one another in the gym to be able to test each other and push. We'll see if Haley Turner can take that experience inside of her gym from Brighton and bring it into the case tonight, translate into a win, a success for her. Hailstorm takes the canvas right now. And her opponent, out of the Radio Influence Blue Corner, Christina Ricker. Our tail of the tape here, we have Haley Turner at 25, Christina Ricker at 28, a five inch uh, height advantage here for Haley Turner. Going to make it a little bit more difficult for Christina Ricker, uh, possibly to land strikes there. Definitely going to be looking to see if there's a dominant reach advantage from Turner. As we can see the records, 2-1 versus 0-1. A little bit more experience here from Turner. Find out what's coming now. We talked about a strong fighting camp coming out of Brighton, Michigan. They are also up against another camp here as Christina Ricker fighting out of Knoxville Martial Arts Academy in Knoxville. Yes, Wanted Scorpion fighting has actually won 100% of their bouts tonight. How many KMA fighters are in here tonight? They're uh, they have a they have a they have an army, don't they? They absolutely do. Uh, you got Christina Ricker Roadhouse coming out right now, and. Uh, She's 0-1 at KMA, has her only loss bout. She had to go to Canada to get beat, guys. And uh, she is number 20 in Tennessee and in the top 30 percentile in the USA. She has a 50-50 amateur record coming in with a, a, a great fight against Megan Poe. Uh, only been on the MMA since, since 2016. She's 26 and making her mark on the sport right now. She's at a 3% to a 97% loss right here. Here we go. We'll get back to that. It is brought to you by the Elysium organization. First, let me introduce you out of the red corner from Brighton, Michigan, fighting out of Scorpion Fighting Systems. This lady holds a record of two wins with one defeat. The Hailstorm, Haley Turner! Her opponent, out of the blue corner. This woman is from Knoxville, Tennessee. She trains at Knoxville Martial Arts Academy. She holds a record of zero wins with one defeat. Christina Roadhouse Ricker! Your referee for this fight is Jimmy Neal. As you were saying, Greg. Uh, Christina Ricker, these two have another, as far as the female bracket goes, uh, Hailstorm and Roadhouse are two of the coolest nicknames I've seen <laughs> on a female in a long time. But I'm going to say I've been watching uh, – Roadhouse Ricker for a little while ever since she was an amateur and uh, this girl goes the distance quite a bit so we should see another three rounder I think. What are you looking to see how this bout Jamel? Alright I'm looking to see a lot of punches I don't like I said I don't want to see a clean fight I want to see something nasty. Christian Ricker coming off 0-1 
don't underestimate that. You have a two and one. You want to respect that as well. But both of these fighters are going here and respect each other. I see Chris Dana Worker definitely being aggressive right now. Like I said, when you have that number higher than that, when you have the loss higher than that win, you're going to come out there and go for the fences. We do see Ricker pushing in through, from the beginning of the fight after that first little touch and exchange. Ricker has been pushing in to try and get inside that range of Turner to make sure that she doesn't get caught on the outside from those striking abilities. She's been pressing, trying to... Uh, it appears to me that um, Hellstorms looks like she's trying to pull guard on her in the corner over here, but I don't know if that would be such a great idea against the cage. Not sure out, either because then you should be able to press that storm in, especially with an aggressive fighter like Ricker. Ricker's, Ricker's showing out right now. Oh, headlock's coming right here. We got looked like we were setting up a throw and knee to the... Yep. Circle, circle, Cross circle. face from Turner, tried to set up an elbow there. Miss is just glancing off the top. Tight waist, tight oh. waist, tight waist circle. Turner looking to strike from every single position. Oh, ladies Ricker doing down. a great job of negating that reach advantage, keeping inside. Christina keeping that pressure against her on the cage is a really good thing. You don't want to give a person who's got a 71 reach advantage on you any kind of distance. Absolutely not. Absolutely. She, uh, what Chris didn't want to do, she wants to get in uh, close and stay close. Keep that damage to a minimum. See the, see the reach right there? keeping close, we need to keep hips together from those clinches because the more distance they have in between each or one another, the more oh. able Turner's going to be able to throw those knees. And both ladies definitely throwing and landing punches. We see Ricker uh, in. We see Turner start the exchange and Ricker finish it as both ladies jump in with those significant strikes. We have uh, Ricker here working a single leg. She's going to need to drop her level of her hips if she's going to finish here. You can't pick somebody up over their hips, over the hips, Justin. You've got to lower your level for a shot. And right here, Christina is really just letting all, all oh, and elbows are just raining down. Right now. She's got to lower her level. She has to. If she doesn't, there's no take down there. She can sweep both knees out if she can get to it. I mean, Right now, she, she, like you said, I want to touch on that. She has to get low. But this is right here where you have to focus. And we see it. There we go. The Christina the hips. Walking the hands behind the hips. Picks up Turner. How she's been pressing and putting damage on Ricker the entire time against the cage. Ricker finally able to make her strategy work and get, her, uh, get Turner down. Lots of space. Down. Lots of space there. Lots of space. See, she's regaining guard right there. We don't want to stop right here. You get a big takedown, you have to go for the finish. You don't want to give her time to get her composure. When you slam somebody on the ground, they're surprised. You have to take advantage of that. And if Ricker wants to take advantage of this, she has definitely been losing in the significant strikes era as Turner has been able to make more of those count. If she's going to make this, she's got to Arm. keep her control and keep pushing forward. It looks like we have a half guard. No, nope, not transitioning into that think, lockdown. I think, I think she's staying comfortable with the half guard she right is. now, Justin. It looks like Christina's trying to set up some kind of arm choke right now as she tees off on Hellstorm's head. And I'll be honest with you, I'm a fan of the half guard. If you can do some damage from the half guard, you are a good fighter on the ground. That's always one of my favorite positions to be able to work from. However, Ricker's using it from the top in order to keep that control, and she is driving those elbows down into the thigh of Turner. Now, ladies and gentlemen, just like we saw in our previous fight with the Muay Thai, there are a series of nerves and muscles there you don't want to continue to take damage to. We'll see that later on in the fight should it go into the, or in the later rounds. You're also seeing a series of somebody controlling somebody's hips and their head, which is the two most things, that you, like the two biggest things you can control in a fight. If you can control somebody's head and their hips, you're going to win the fight. And that right now is what Ricker's doing. We see Ricker looking to press that hand over the face of Turner as she was really trying to create space between Ricker. She used that hand to cover the face, limit the breathing. Turner gets her head out of the way, and Ricker's able to continue to keep that control. All right, now, if I was Hailstone right now, I would be trying to get my arm underneath, get some control, get some space so I can get back up. Right now, Hailstone, she needs to get back on her feet. If she wants to win this fight, she has to get off the ground. Christina has a distinct uh -oh. advantage on the ground. I see some movement right now. Maybe Hailstone get on her feet and turn this into an even match. She did a good job of bringing her hips out there, and we want to see if she's going to be able to use that leverage in those long legs. As you saw, she was able to flip Ricker, but Ricker still contained that top position by not letting go with that body lock. Ricker is extremely high right now, and she needs to be weary of that hip. See how her hips are? All that. Okay, yeah, we got, we got, see. We got some movement. I like it, I like it. And Ricker's got it. Looks like Ricker's going for a finish. She's got herself a little eye win there from her wrestling days. She's could pin her right now. But other than that, we're, we're, I mean, we're looking. Ricker needs to jump over to the mount and really advance because going to the second round, in my opinion, is not good for Ricker because, oh, and she's got her in a crucifix right now. Go. Looking to throw damage. Looking to throw damage. Oh. Make something count before this round's in. The bell hits. Ricker finishes on top and in control. Turner looking strong through the striking, landing a uh, 
That's the amount of significant strikes coming off of the cage there, even though Ricker was able to press her and keep that ring control. I think Turner came out with a better amount of damage. Ricker didn't do such a great job of keeping her hips in, and that was where Turner was really able to land those strikes with the knees. However, whenever she had her against the cage, do you see here the takedown? That was the turning point as far as uh, <laughs> we can hear in the background the corner from KMAA cheering on Ricker. Wow, but just as we saw, that turn, that takedown seemed to swing a little bit for Ricker. She was able to make it a little bit more of a contest there. Now, Turner did work a lot from her back. She didn't take a great amount of damage, and we're looking at both fighters. Both are smiling as they're sitting on their stools. Both are ready to go. Yep. Love to see that. Notice how, how Christina Ricker's coach is in the corner in her face, letting her know, amping her up, starting her fresh right now because Christina Ricker is at a disadvantage on her feet, taking 71 inches. That's a long – you have a tall opponent in front of you. Look for Christina to take it right back down to the ground again, and that's exactly what we're looking for. Right. If I was in Christina Corn, I would definitely tell her, take her to the ground, do that damage again, get her off her feet fast and quick. She's keeping her inside, presses forward, and then back to the cage again goes Turner. You would think you would want to see Turner use that uh, footwork to push her all the way around and oh. make her dance a little bit more. She's got her to use that reach, but she just went straight back to the cage and allowed Ricker to bring her down. She has her head between her legs right now. She's got to pull her head out to get this takedown and secure it. She can't sit there with her head down. Like I told you, you control the head, you control the hips, you win the fight. And right now, Christina's head's getting controlled. And Turner seems to have made a mistake by leaving that leg out a little bit longer. We'll see if she can actually keep her head She's down out. up. So whenever out. the head came out, the control goes now to Ricker, and we'll see if she can continue to keep that control. Now, she is sitting over both legs and can sit up in a mount here if she can continue to do that. Turner looking to keep that shoulder, apparently a shoulder lock, trying to keep her from step over into the mount. Yeah, I'm not familiar with this. If I was that's, a half, that's a half butterfly guard right there. Okay. She's yeah. trying to spin her around. But right now you've got Christina Ricker on top dominating, and you've got this center base of hips. I can't. I wish I could point see what I'm doing, but, like, <laughs> I'm sitting here looking at the screen, and I'm pointing at Christina's hips, putting them straight down on Hellstrom. So she's, she's oh, we got him out. And we got a posture up, and she's going to start teeing off. Hellstorm reaches those long arms out. If she can get that head pushed down on Hellstorm, she can go ahead and deliver some Hellstorm of herself. It might be a hurricane coming for the Hellstorm today. And so right now the space that was going to help Turner Elbows. as she was standing with the reach is going to be her enemy as she wants to close this gap so that Ricker can't rain down this damage. Hailstorm's in a world of trouble right now, to be honest with you. I'm telling you, if she doesn't if she doesn't even make an attempt to get up right now, even if she rolls over, she's in a more vulnerable position. But right now, she's got to get out of there because Ricker is just dominating from top. One advantage that you can see here, ladies and gentlemen, is in the background, you have the corner of Turner right in her ear. So she's able to hear that instruction and move around there, looking to reverse and flip and maybe make a better situation with those feet on the cage. And Hailstorm's got that push against the cage. If she uses it, she's see, see Hailstorm. She's got I'm, that arm way extended out there, way extended with that arm, way extended with that arm. See her pulling up, Dan. Mm -hmm. There it is. And there it is. She has that back door of the I'm, hook. I'm going be honest with you. Right now, Christina is going for a finish. She wants yeah, to do some needs, damage. She wants to punch. She doesn't care about the corner right now. She's going for a finish right she's now. She's working on – oh, and the, and the very, reversal. It was the a reversal. variation of a crucifix. And now Turner Christina. that length to uh, flip and reverse and take that top position to be dominant. Just halfway through the second round here. This is not a good position for Christina. Chris, Christina, yeah, it's a, she, she, it, it, you got two and a half minutes left of the round. She spent the first better half of the round on top. We got to know if she punched herself out on top. She was waiting patiently. It didn't look like she was putting a whole lot into the punches, uh, conserving her energy and being patient. But right now, Hailstorm is hailstorming right now. She's just raining hail. <laughs> That's, right. That's what she's doing, throwing down bombs of ice right on Christina. And you got an arm bar. It looks like. Hips are definitely escaping out from under Turner here from Ricker. She's trying to see if she can work some type of jujitsu magic maybe to throw off or get a, a foothold in the cage here to throw off Turner. Well, right now, Christina Ricker's not in a horrible position because she's against the cage and she's got that working for her. She needs to use that cage to her advantage. Right now, she doesn't have range, but she's close. There's not going to be a lot of damage from somebody with so much range. She's using she, those legs, though. Yeah. Look at her. She needs to use those legs, get off the cage, get safe, and get the control back in the match. Chris Ricker was looking for a barrel sweep there. However, the side that she went was pressing her turner into the cage, which let her keep that position Grabbing on top. Grabbing the cage here. Coming Jimmy's off the pulling cage. her off. Okay, I see some. 
definitely looks like Christina Corner, Eric Turner, is upset about something right now. I think it was it's, grabbing the cage when Turner was. was bringing up her feet there, yeah. It was, and Christina's back back to her disadvantage standing up right now, but she's in so deep that the that the length isn't going to hurt nothing. Right now, Christina wants to drop to the both knees and yank them back up from under her, but Hellstorm is keeping an under an overhook right here over her right arm, not letting her go to the knee right now. And Christina is, well, Christina had a hold. Okay, she's let go above. There she goes. Down to the legs. She's gonna. She's at the hips trying to pick her up. That exerts so much energy oh. that, see, that's what, and that's what happens. And now we're sitting, now oh, we're sitting now Hellstorm in a top Christina. position. In half guard, Christina has build to get up. up. She has to do she's something right build now. build up. Hellstorm's too high right now. She's, she's got the legs. See how she's using her legs right now? She's using those as her best. Her best Referee yeah, Jimmy right Neal keeping a close eye in to make sure and that she's Christina so high. She's so, and Christina's out. Can, Christina's out right now. And she's got, and she's got the reversal. She's got the reversal. There's a reversal as we see Rickler take top control for the dominance. You hear the Knoxville crowd look for their native to try to steal the round and possibly a fight here. All right, Christina, if she wants to solidify this win on this round, she has to do some damage right now so we can tell these judges that Christina deserved this win. If she doesn't do something right now, she might not get the win for this round. And Turner definitely doing everything she can to negate all the damage and all the influence and points earlier in the round. Trying to bring as much damage and be busy on top as she can with the dominance. Both ladies fighting hard through bad positions. Both ladies fighting hard. Christina Ricker, excitement, excitement. I love watching her. Oh, and Hailstorm all the way down here from Michigan. Gosh, there was a lot of talk before this, before this fight saying that either fighter you said you had you know, one fighter that didn't look too tough and another fighter was kind of pretty, and I was just like, you know what? Looks could be deceiving. You don't know who you're going to – you don't know. We see here that uh, Roadhouse Ricker on top in her dominant position, writing down punches and elbows. Turner having to eat. You can see the corner in the background coaching Turner through. Hellstorm still working. Need to see more uh, from that position. You would like to see her use her legs more, especially with that length and that height. But well, look, Ricker look. doing a great job of keeping that uh, pressure down. Look we did to, see reversals. Uh, we did see scrambles. We did see power. Interested to see what this third round brings. We see a smile on Chris Ricker's face looking over into the corner of uh, Hailstorm there. Incredibly calm, cool, and collected. You see two just opposite ends of the spectrum in the personalities of fighter here. You have the fire and you have the ice on both sides. I, I'm sorry. I'm in awe over here at the corner of Christina Ricker right now. This is exciting. And uh, – <laughs> Jeez, go both these guys. We're, we're seeing a third round right here in a professional fight here in Knoxville, guys. For the second time tonight, a third round. Jimmy Neely brings us ready for this third round of action Look. in this professional MMA bout. Try to watch Hellstorm keep her distance here because she doesn't want Christina Ricker at all inside her in, inside her elbows at all. She doesn't want to get in. So watch for the distance. Oh, Ooh. nice leg kick from Ricker as she oh, steps up. Turns. I think that'll be a, a roadhouse from Ricker. She's roadhouse to, Ricker. And she's got her again. Oh, big takedown. Hopefully Christina Ricker takes her. Take and, advantage of this. And in this takedown, she steps into a – or she's able to fall into a side control instead of that half guard and uh, that she was able to utilize earlier. Hopefully a more advantageous position for her in this. Hailstorm looking to – there you go, negate that arm by doing that. So she's hoping to uh, definitely make sure she can find a way to squeeze out of here and reverse this position again as you saw in the previous round. If I was Christina Ricker, I see she's putting her knee on belly. I would – if I was her, go ahead and go for that half guard or that mount. She has done some wonderful damage from those positions. Mount she slipped up. I would be fine if she went to half guard and delivered that same amount of damage from round one. Well, right now, Christina really doesn't have to do a whole hell of a lot because right now she's sitting on Hailstorm, and Hailstorm's relaxing and catching her breath. Ricker's looking to come pass, put her in another crucifix is what she's aiming for right now, but you got Hailstorm against the, against the cage pushing. I mean, legs are stronger than arms, so you're not going to be able to hold her down. Again, this is deep into the fight, and both of these fighters are tired. You can't – you just got to know – oh, and there it is. Oh. Ricker doing an excellent job negating the pressure and the attempt to reverse there from Turner off of the cage. Still able to throw a few punches and elbows. Ricker needs a finish here. She needs to go after it. She can't sit there and wait and be patient like that. She's got to go after it. She has to go after it. I do want to give shout outs to the cool color designer. Chris Ricker decided to go for this fight. That is a nice thing. But back <laughs> to the fight right now. She's inside mount doing some wonderful damage. Now what I want to do, let's get some knees going. I see the elbows on the back. But let's take let's let's attack this lower side. Make that way if Hailstorm is able to get up to her feet, she is punished and she doesn't want to be there for long. And if you're in if you're in Turner's corner, what advice are you giving her here being on her back for so long? If if I was in Teller's corner, I would like push off that cage, stop playing around. 
get up. You can win if you stand up. You have a better chance standing up. You're losing on the ground game. Why are you still there? Get up. Do some damage. If you're a Hailstorm, attack like a Hailstorm right now. Hopkins, what would you say as far as techniques to get her out of here? She's been stuck in this position a couple of times during this fight already. Well, I've already mentioned it once. Oh, my. There's oh, that's a big, up a that's a huge deal right there with Richter <laughs> getting reversed right now. Richter's going to have to show that spot right now. She's going to go for another single leg. Here, here it is. Oh, and she's got her crushed down. I'll be honest with you. If I have a hellstorm right now, I would break off and go to striking right every, now. Yeah, every bit of it stand up. Every Every, you have the, you have the reach. What did I say earlier? Control the head, control the hips. You win the fight. Yeah, that is correct. You did. I say don't that. know if she has enough time to just control the head. She's gonna. She may have to finish Christina right here. There, there may be two. She's got a three-quarter Nelson right now, trying to rip it over, throw her to her back. She's gonna take the back and throw a leg in right here. And Christina's standing up. Oh, she's high. She's shaking her off. Christina, Christina's gonna shake her off right here. She's too high, and we're gonna turn. And right up until the very end here, you saw a great amount of pressure as Turner was pressing her in to the cage. And as soon as she let off the pressure, Ricker uses that hip to step outside. We see Turner trying to find an opportunity here, maybe an extended neck. but Neck crank. Like, she's trying to crank on it looks right like now. Looks like Ricker still has her chin down. She's good. If, Gives a thumbs up good. to referee Jim Neely. If Ricker can get that elbow across through the abdomen, she can get forward facing and be free right now. Uh -huh. Turner looking to put in that second hook. She has her right leg in between she's there, Ricker's. She is extremely high trying to go for this submission. With, with a minute and a half left, that is hard to come out of that position, though, because now look, see how her hips are falling off right now? If Christina can tripod up and shake her, she will definitely fall off right now. But see, she's hanging on to the cage back here in the left. See, see her foot back there? Mm -hmm. She's using it. Still yeah, continue to move. We see the lock break, or we see the arms break and here and then let go into that submission. Turner's still trying to be able so on top high. and put that. Right now, it's just about focus. Listen to your corner. I think I see an arm in Hailstorm. We got to be careful not to get She's that arm it. up right now. See, we have cross got feet. Double. We've got cross feet here between Ricker. She's going to try to recognize it. She's going to break that leg right Ricker there. Ricker tries to recognize with a foot triangle. Here we'll it goes. She's able to Watch this. Let's see if Hunter can pull or let's see if Turner can pull out. Turner's still fighting for that submission up top with the hand fighting. Looks like Ricker's Look just looking Look to negate. Oh, That's a lot here. of pain on those ankles right there, boys and girls. That's a lot of pain on those ankles. You don't see it, you don't feel it, but I guarantee you that Hellstorm or uh, yeah, Hellstorm's feeling that right now on top. And Christina will not let go of this no matter what. Watch. Oh, well, she did. Mm. I guess when you're getting punched in the head, you have to do something. That's right. Mike, Ty Mike Tyson's famous words, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. And Mike Tyson's a brilliant man. <laughs> <laughs> and, guys, I, I, there's still 15 seconds left in this fight, but I'm – if they can hold out, if Christina can hold out, she can try this again. Oh, she's got the tri she's got the uh, she has a body triangle. The, yep, and then she's going to tee off and try to finish her with ten seconds with left. Eight seconds left. I don't Ricker know. Ricker's still fighting. Ricker's still fighting. She Turner's just, still pushing. Jimmy Neely right on top of the action as the bell sounds. We have our first decision for our MMA. We have our first MMA decision coming up where the judges will actually have to do their job this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Will the judges have to do their job? They've been gone so long. I think they, <laughs> they've just took a break. Can we get the judges back in here? Jamil, yeah, run out to the concession stand and grab our judges for us yeah, so we can actually yeah. get this decision. <laughs> yeah. Mark, four fingers over, touch. One of the great refs for our uh, region here, Jimmy Neely, going over to Christina Ricker, telling her, I knew that you were still fighting, letting her know that that's why the stoppage wasn't there you were looking for. We go back and look at some of the footage here as we see Turner able to finally reverse that top position and was really a big point in the round for her to try to be able to steal that point, just all the strength. And as you hear the hips forward, keep pressing down, keeping the head down for Ricker, able to control that part of the fight. How I'm wondering how she had that explosion so late in the fight. Like, that was, I mean, to completely. I'll let y'all know that uh, Tapology had uh, Haley Hillstorm at a 97 percentile of winning that fight, and our hometown girl, Christina Roadhouse Ricker, only had a 3% chance of winning. What do you think you're going to see from these judges right now? That was a tough, that was kind of a tough fight to call. Right I kind of wouldn't doubt it if I saw a draw on that one, guys. Are we ready to judge it still? I know well, that. well who, who do y'all got? Who's your mom looking to? Who you have? I am absolutely afraid to say it was so good. Let's go to the ring here to find our official decision. Time to make it official. Let's give these ladies a round of applause. Judges.
judges score this fight 28-29 for your winner by unanimous decision out of the blue corner, Christina!